Okay, so as promised, I'm going to be doing a maximum hydration today. I already put my hair in four sections. If you're paying attention, you'll see how dry my hair is. See? Hair is really, really dry. A couple weeks ago, I clipped my ends. I think it was two weeks ago. But I am going to do maximum hydration today to see what happens. So, I woke up this morning and I used rosemary and um, some other stuff. Oh, I forgot to add the peppermint oil and the other oils into this. So I have to add Alright, so I had to restart because I realized I did not add the rosemary oil to the tea treatment. So I'm going to start that. So if you hear some background noise, some persons are here working on the house. So you're gonna hear other persons in the background, but I'm gonna proceed. So, um, like any other product that you apply to your hair, you always have to start from the root. So I'm going to do section by section, and I'm in the kitchen because I want to do it over the sink. So you start from the root, and you work your way to the end. Now this morning, I got up, I warmed the water, and I drew the tea. So if you have tea bag, you can use tea bag. I use rosemary and lavender oil and rosemary essential oil. So I'm going to go through each section with the tea, then rinse the entire hair out. So. Okay, so I went through all sections already. So this is how the hair looks with just the tea <coughs> post tea rinse. So the water for the tea rinse was warm, so it was still warm when I was adding it to my hair. So this is how it looks now. So I'm going to be rinsing this out and probably I can show you how it looks. Then second step so we're going to move into step two i'm going to be adding the aloe vera treatment to my hair that's what i'm going to do for step two okay <coughs> sorry so okay guys i just finished washing the tea out of my hair so that's the rosemary tea and this is how it looks take off Good look at my hair guys. This is just step one completed. Um my hair was in sections but homegirl got away in the shower, you know. So I'm going to have to resection my hair. I was going to use my fingers. So this is how it looks. I'm trying to find all the horses trying to find the old center path are going to be exhausted by the time I get through. When I'm washing my hair, it's always like a very long shower for me because I get wet all the way. So I'm just putting it back up into sections and I'm going to add the aloe vera to each section. So guys, I'm going in with the aloe vera 
if you've ever used the aloe vera before, and let me show you. So I already put it, yeah, it's really going to be good. So I still have my chunks out. I didn't blend anything. So yeah. Wondering if I should. Maybe I should blend it. Alright, so this is just the aloe vera gel, guys. Just the aloe vera gel. <laughs> Look. Check it out. I think I'm not sure if you're seeing what I'm seeing, but guys, this is only step two. And I'm feeling hydration. Ah, all right, I'm going to do the other section before I get super excited. Okay guys, so I just washed out my hair and I just changed my shirt and it went up already. Um, so this is how my hair looks post aloe vera treatment. Alright, so I'm going to be going in with my Moringa clay mask Alright, so step 3 in action Moringa clay mask. Get it all in there. And as I said, this is gonna stay in my hair for 30 minutes. Let me just twist it. I'm going to twist it because it's a little bit messy. Root. Applying it to the root and spreading it out downwards. I don't think I'm going to leave any because I want a fresh batch and I'm making it for my face. By the time this finish, I'm going to go to like three shirts. I've already gone through a towel. I'm kind of the one to the last one. I want the last towel to last me until the end of this video. So. All this green stuff reminds me. Whoa! All this green stuff reminds me of um the Hulk. <laughs> so I'm 
So how you know say the rest of it nearly threw away a while ago. Imagine if it was wasted. Whoa, these curls are popping. They are popping. to have that pop trust me best thing ever to you if you want to try my moringa clay mask you can visit my business page on instagram you don't have a website up and running as yet but you know small steps small business so you can visit my my business page at Netties Knots. That's N E T T Y Z K N O T Z on Instagram, and you can order your pouch. It comes with eight ounces of moringa clay powder. It's my own unique mixture, and you just add water. You can add honey. You can use um, your apple cider vinegar if you want. I did it that way because you know lots of persons they're allergic to a lot of things and so the pre-mixed version wants that everybody wants to be able some persons some not everybody some persons want to be able to mix it themselves especially because they might be allergic to other things and then there are persons who are asking why don't you make the ready re um, ready-made version so I can just buy it and add it to my hair well I'm going to be doing that so soon and very very soon soon and very very soon I'm going to be I'm going to I'm going to have the ready made version for you guys so for the person who not into the DIY I think to mix it with the water because all you will be adding is the water or some persons you know they don't really want to do that either so I am going to package the wet version for you. A two steps of the maximum hydration method. And as I said at the beginning of the video, I kind of use um, the method. I can't, I'm kind of copying um, only one Jesse's method. She's on YouTube, guys. You can check her out. Her hair content stuff is really good. Yeah, she is really good. Um, yeah so i used her method and then i just added my own twist to it you know so it's the same thing just a few deviations here and there nothing major um different products i don't use i don't use the same brand as she does so it's gonna be in my hair for another 30 minutes yeah so Enough couple things, guys. So, guys, so I am um, just washed out the moringa clay mask out of my hair. And this is what I have right about now. And I'm going to be just washing my hair. I'm going to wash my hair just to ensure that everything is out. I'm going to be using an aloe vera um, shampoo by Olive Oil. It's outside. I just want to hurry up and finish washing everything out. Because water has been in my hair since 12 o'clock so guys i've been at it since 12 p.m so it's a long process so i just rinsed out i just washed out the moringa clay mask and i'm going to be washing my hair in sections so, so now i'm going to be washing my hair in 
now it's time for the final step. So my hair has been shampooed and I'm just going to add the cream in the oil myself first. I always forget them to do that. Because I added the butter in it, it's going to have like a little. Yeah. As bad as all. Mm. So I'm just going to finish. This skin on bridging. That is it. Guys, this is what I have so far. I look better guys. I think it's because I had patience enough to do it little by little. So you know it's the eco styler so you're gonna see like the eco styler residue on my hair but I think I have achieved maximum hydration. You think you can get more hydrated than this? Yeah. So, I'm just going to keep taking small amounts of my hair because I realize when I try to use big chunks all at once, some girl is not curling the way I want. So, just doing. A little bit at a time. So this is my hair after adding in all of the eco styler. Um, so this is how the wash and go is going to basically look because. Homegirl is finished. I don't think I can manage to do anything else to my hair. So I decided to go with this particular part. So most of my hair is swung to this right of my head. And I mean, I can style it however. So can do it that way or I can bring it into my face a little bit more so guys I think the maximum hydration thing did work but if I had used another product to um, help with my wash and go maybe you would see and feel the level of hydration that I'm getting on this side of the camera you understand yeah but I would say personally because of that fact I would give this probably like a, a 7 out of 10 there you have it guys thank you so much for watching this video remember to try it it does work it didn't really come out the way I wanted it to with my wash and go but my hair is really hydrated and I'm happy that I did it. So now it's your turn. You try and then if you're willing to try, just drop it down in the comments. Tell me what you think. Um, in this particular video, I did try to treat the, the tea rinse as well. So it's like a, you know, a double, double mess, a double try it method today. Yeah, so see you in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.